room for two people to sit and talk while you're in the tub. Two seats that come with it. So having had the hot tub now for the last three weeks, the one thing that I've discovered is you can't just have a table sat on the end because it's way too low to be reaching over and uh, getting your drinks. So what we've had delivered today is that down there, which is a hot tub bar to go on the side. So next steps, let's get it built up and get it put into situ after we've moved that table there. We'll get it broken down, uh, moved up to the top and then built up. And this has come from Premier Products, which supply all sorts of hot tubs and accessories. After doing lots of research, it's about the best thing that I saw at the best price as well. So if you have a look in the link below, that'll connect you to the web page. It's absolutely freezing today, uh, but at least it's not raining. So what I think we've got here is uh, the two stools, two back pieces, three legs and the bar top itself. And if we get it all opened, Yep, one bar top. And all this has got protective covering on as well, which is good. Let's double check for instructions. Right, so no instructions with it. So we'll just have to see what we can do here. Should be nice and easy though. It is straightforward. Uh, you get bolts with it. You get an Allen key for the bolt. You get screws. Um, I'm not gonna use the Allen key though. This is a 3 16th uh, Allen key bit. So that's gonna be for the drill. And the bolts, you've got nuts that are already in. So basically up through the legs, into the top, that's your back bar that supports it and then those screw on. Um, nice and straightforward, let's do it. I'm thinking this is going to be a, a five to ten minutes to, to erect it. So the first thing, put something protective down on the floor. So I'm just using the cardboard that they came in. Get the top and lay it face down, like so. There's no front and back on it. Uh, it's simply a case of putting it down just so that you can access these nuts here. And then, Get a leg, there's only one end that's got these holes in. So we need to just to fix it like that. And before I do that, I'm gonna take off the protective coating. All right, we'll stand that up like so. And before it falls over, I'll just get, so I'll get one of the bolts, pop it in. making sure it's over the hole. Just get it started in there. Get the others. And again, just get it started in. Really easy. Really easy. Take this off the remainder. Just get the other two legs on. Again, just looking for the holes. Make sure it's the same way around. Pop it on. Remember where you've put your bolts two of them out and once it's lined up drop it in and finger tighten it so they're all just finger tightened at the moment now we're going to 
going to put this on now. Right, as you can see, we've got some more lugs there and we've got holes in the back here, here and here. And that is just going to go on there as a support. So before we do that, got some more protective covering. Uh, oh, hmm. Maybe, actually, so that you don't see the heads. I might put it that way. Yeah, so you're not going to see the bolt heads from the side where you're sitting. I'm going to put it on this side and I'm going to come in from the back there. Again, all the finger tightening. This side. Right, that's that. Now only one more thing to do, which is put these in. And these go like so. And you basically, you've already got pre-drilled holes there and there. Uh, and we've got the screws that came with it. So I am going to use the um, I'm going to use the drill for this. So if we get the drill, what I'm going to do is to try to ensure that there's no gaps here, I'm going to screw the sides first just to pull it in. And I'm actually going to, just on the eventuality that the screw pops out, I'm going to screw from this side and then it won't be seen at the back. So first things first. Make sure it's flush. Like so, and then right. That's the first one in, get the next one in. Just gonna get a flexible head so that I can get in there. Right, so one flexible head. Just replace this. And then we should Right, that's it, that's in place. Now to do the two screws down at the bottom. And there we go, that's in place. Move on to the next one. That's the table complete, other than tightening up the uh, the bolts. Let's get that done. Not good doing this in cold weather. 
Right, that's it, we'll turn it over. There's probably some protective covering on the front that needs to come off. Right, okay, that's all the protective stuff off. And now we just need to decide uh, where to locate it. It's probably going to be there, or it might even be on the front. I haven't decided yet. Right, let's get it located and see how it looks in situ. And there we go, that's that. Basically made, um, and there we go, that's that. Basically took about 10 minutes, if that. Just make sure you've got the right tools. Uh, really straightforward, really easy. And let's see it with the hot tub working. So that's it, uh, roughly three foot high, so more or less the height of the hot tub, which basically means you're not having to reach over to get your drink or anything, which was the primarily the reason why we bought it. Um, room for two people to sit and talk while you're in the tub. Two seats that come with it. It's made out of um, recycled plastic. Uh, I, I remember they used to do this stuff. It was from like the plastic cups and things like that. So it's basically weatherproof. The only thing that may happen is that uh, the colour may, may go on it over a period of time, but uh, it's supposed to be resistant to that as well. So yeah, like I said, roughly 10 minutes to put it together. And um, the, the only thing that I would say could be better is if there were cutouts in the side to take the, uh, the lifter for the, for the top. Um, but you can either pull it out and put it back or just keep it on the front like this. Entirely up to you, but yeah, fantastic bike.